Hello my friend, in this video I'm going to show you how to add or remove a manager from your YouTube channel. Now this will also work if you're changing ownership of your channel as well. And then if you stick around to the end, you're going to want to do that because I've got a million dollar question that I'm going to ask you and we're going to get started right now. Hello my friend, thanks for sticking around. Hey, if you're an active subscriber, I want to say welcome back. If you're new to my channel, then I want to give you a big welcome. Um, and thanks so much for, for checking out my channel and watching some of my videos. I really appreciate that. Now, if you're a network marker, maybe a, a local business owner, and you are looking to leverage the power of social media to generate more leads and sales for your business, then you're in the right place. I've got tips, tools, and training that's going to help you to grow your business. So why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and click on the bell notification that way you're going to get notified every time I put out a new video that's going to help you to grow your business. So let's go ahead and jump on the computer and we're going to get started right now. Okay, here we are on my YouTube channel. Now before we get into this, I wanted to say a couple things to you real quick. This particular channel of mine is a personal channel. And what I mean by that is because it's personal and it is not a brand channel, um, I can't actually add managers to it. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can actually add managers, but I want to show you this first before we jump into it. So what you would typically do is go up and click on the avatar and then go to settings and that would take you to the, the account page. And usually right here, if this is a, a brand account, it will show you that you can actually add managers to your account. Uh, but because this is a personal page for me. So you want to really think about that if you're going to start building a brand and you're maybe going to get it to a place where you're going to add um, somebody to manage that account for you. If you want to bring in a manager or somebody else, then you want to probably establish your account as a brand account to be able to do that. Now you can use your name as a brand account as well. And I can actually transfer this over to a brand account, um, but there's some complications to that. I will lose all my comments and um, my um, vanity URL. So I probably won't be doing that to this channel because I've actually started growing it. I like what's on this channel, but I did want to show you how you can actually do this. Um, and I set up another channel to be able to do that with. And so, so this would be my channel. Um, if you set up a, a brand channel, your channel would be on it. It would show your, your channel art on there. It would have your um, uh, branding video on there. It would have some other videos typically in there as you were doing this. But in order to get started with actually going ahead and adding managers to your uh, YouTube channel, what you want to do is go ahead and go up here and click on the avatar. So this is going to be your logo or your brand avatar. And if you click on that, you're going to see this box pop up here, which is the gear box. It shows the YouTube settings. So that's where we want to head to. And so if you click on that button there, that's actually going to open up or launch the overview of your channel. Okay, so, and this would give you all the things on there that you can actually do with your channel um, in this particular account. Now you can see here that this one has the, the managers on here and so you can add or remove managers. And so if you wanted to add a manager to manager account, you're going to click on this button right here that will launch another page now when this box comes up, you can see here, um, right over here it says users, it says change roles, invite or remove users. And um, just to the right of that, you see this button, the blue button here, which says manage permissions. And so once we click on this button, it's going to launch your manage permissions page. So right now you can see that I'm the actually um, I'm the primary owner on this page and I have no managers on this page. And so if I wanted to add a manager to this page, all I would need to do is go up here and click on the the, the plus sign with the people on it there, and that little uh, icon, and that's gonna open up the add new users box here. So then all you have to do is add the email of the, the new user that you want to add. You're gonna put an email address in there. Once you've finished putting an email address in there, and you can put multiples in there if you wanted to, you're going to come down here to the down arrow where it says choose a role. You're gonna click on that. Okay, so this is something that's else that's really important as well. Unless you're actually gonna transfer um, this account to somebody else, which we'll talk about in just a second, um, you wanna make sure that you either just click on the manager role for them or the communications manager. And this would just be able to manage all the communications that would come back and forth. And so you don't wanna give them ownership because that means that they can actually lock you out of it. So unless you're selling the, the, the site, then you'll make them an owner and then you can can transfer that over from there. But typically you want to make them a manager and then go ahead and click down here and go ahead and send the invite. So there you can see it's added this to um, be a, another um, manager of this account. 
Um, so it's one of my other email addresses that I have. And so I can actually, uh, as Bob Brown um, the, from the Alkaline Advantage, be able to come on here and, and manage this account as well. So if you want to be able to get rid of a, um, one of your managers or delete a, a, a user from uh, being a manager, then you just come over here and you click the remove button. Are you sure you want to revoke the uh, invitation to uh, this user right here to become a manager? And then you just push revoke and that's going to remove them off of there. So that's real easy to do. And once that's all finished and you're, you're happy with your managing your per, uh, permissions here, just click the done button and that will bring you out of that. Okay, so you can see that that was pretty simple um, to actually add or remove a manager to your account. Um, and also, um, we talked briefly on about how you can add um, somebody to change ownership in there. And one of the reasons you might want to change ownership is that you've been working very hard, diligent on your YouTube channel, and somebody offers you some money for it. And so that way, you would actually transfer their, the, that channel over to them if they purchased your um, channel from you you would make them the owner that would give them the ability then to to go into the account change the passwords and actually transfer that whole account over to them that would give them the ability to now run that channel as their own so that's one of the reasons the other reason might be is that um, um, maybe you're you were using adsense at some point um, on your youtube uh, channel there and you made a mistake and you got banned from adsense so if that would be the case then what you could actually do is um, go ahead and set up another entity and then uh, transfer your uh, YouTube channel to that new entity and that would allow you to be able to um, go ahead and set your AdSense back up under that new entity and then to be able to um, earn AdSense revenues from that. Now, you know, that does happen. Um, you know, and I'll say this, when I first got started on YouTube, I didn't know a whole lot about AdSense, how it all worked, and I started playing around with it. I did some things that um, YouTube didn't like, and they actually banned my AdSense account uh, because of that. And so, again, that was years ago, I haven't used that since, uh, but it does happen, so people do make mistakes on that. And so if you do make a mistake and you do get banned from that, there is a way around that to actually set up another entity and get plugged in and start using AdSense again. So there's a, there's a workaround on that. Okay, so at the beginning of this video, I told you that I was gonna ask you the million dollar question, and that question is, you've been working very hard, you've been um, growing your channel, and somebody comes to you and says, listen, I like what you're doing, I wanna buy it. What would you sell your channel for right now? Leave me a comment below and let me know um, the value of your account to you at this particular point in time. Doesn't matter where you are with it, uh, leave me a comment and let me know. So again, that's it for this video, guys. Hey, if you found value, do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button. Um, also, um, you're gonna leave me a comment, so I really appreciate that. But go ahead and share this with somebody else that you think might be able to, uh, to help them out as well. I appreciate you, um, and so I will talk to you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye now.